Hey everyone, I am back with another video and in today's video, I'm gonna talk with you guys about my business goals for 2022. For those who have been following my channel for quite some time, you will notice that my background is completely unrecognizable. And unfortunately, I am not filming from my new home that I purchased in Calgary. <sighs> I'm still at Kale's parents' house in Seattle, sorry, Olympia, Washington. I said Seattle out of habit, sorry. But the whole reason why I'm still here and Kale is in Calgary is because, long story short, I tested positive for COVID-19. And if you want all the details to that, I have my video on our Zimmerman Life channel listed up there. But like I mentioned, this video is not about that. Even though I tested positive for COVID, I actually don't feel any symptoms. I feel great, so I thought, why not film things while I'm here? And although I don't have my usual setup, the video quality is not the same, I still wanted to make videos for you guys. And even though 2022 is starting off really rocky, I think this is a good way to put the right foot forward by thinking ahead to the future and talking to you guys about my goals for my channel, my business, for, for all of that. And hopefully those who are in the same spot or those who are a few steps behind or those who are a few steps ahead can relate to the goals that I'm gonna talk about because all of these relate to the struggles of owning a business. So if that's something that you're interested in, keep watching. My first goal of 2022, and this goal is really a theme that I want to carry with me throughout 2022 is to not worry so much about growth, but to care about what I currently have and improve that and make it better. 2021 was such a huge year of growth for me and my company. And what Kayla and I found as our company grew and grew was that it became harder and harder to maintain everything. I would really like this year to be a year where I scale down focus on what's important and for those things that I've decided that are important, I make them as good as I can possibly make them before I move out and venture into other things. A huge example of that would be my YouTube channel. I've had explosive growth since I started filming videos regularly a year ago and I just really want to make quality content for you guys and I'm not sure yet if that means reducing my upload frequency because for a while I uploaded three videos a week and then I shrunk it down to two videos a week but I was finding nearer to the end of 2021 that I was getting severely burnt out and I don't like that feeling because I as a person love making videos I love the whole process of editing I love the whole process of <laughs> filming these things and it really sucks when something that you love starts to feel like it's draining your life. So I think a great solution to that is less videos and they're better quality videos for you guys. So I think that's something that I'm gonna be doing moving forward. Another thing that we are gonna be taking away from our business is our farmer's markets and our in-person sales. In 2022, we are gonna be focusing more on our online sales and our online customers. With this YouTube channel, it has really opened up our business to a global and nationwide customer base. And these are the people that we wanna really be able to serve better because that's something in 2021 that I feel like I didn't do the best that I could do at. And the reason was because I had spread myself so thin. And with us leaving our customer base in Midland, Ontario and moving to Calgary, it only makes sense that we would focus on our online presence, on our website, on our social media, on this channel even more so because we would have lost that local customer base. We, have lost, we would have lost the farmer's markets, the events, all of that stuff. And even though we really enjoyed doing those things, especially Kale, I think we are both finding by the end of 2021 that it was certainly causing us to be really stressed out. Our stock always felt like it wasn't enough and we were always having to make more and more and more and eliminating that part of it. It will reduce the amount of income we're making from the business, but it will also allow us to spend the time that we need to on the parts of the business that we really want to improve. I think when most people start a business, there's this overwhelming pressure to grow. And in that pursuit of growth, 
you can lose sight of what's really important and I really want to return back to that focus on the customer and to be able to provide to them the quality that they deserve. So my goal for 2022 is simply look at what you want to put your attention to and improve it as much as you can. And I did mention that we were removing the in-person sales aspect of our business, but I also want to improve our recipes. I want to improve our website. I want to improve our labels. I want to improve all of that kind of stuff. And for many of you that are wanting to get into this as a business, as one person, that is a huge ask to make one person worry about all of those things and then all of these sales and all these different sales channels. It's literally a huge, huge, huge workload. And after four years of being in business, I've had enough. I realize that at our business level that it is now, we don't need to grow as rapidly as I've been wanting to and envisioning. And I really think that the slowdown is gonna help my business in addition to helping out our customers. My next goal of 2022 is to be much, much, much better at record keeping, which is where today's video sponsor comes in. CraftyBase is a small business powerhouse that I've been using for the past year to keep track of all of my inventory, supplies, costs, and sales. This software has so many features that I couldn't do without as a small business owner. And for 2022, my goal is to ramp up and clean up my data entry so that I can fully take advantage of all that this inventory management software has to offer. Starting a soap and bath bomb business is not just about the love of making soap and bath bombs. It actually accounts for a tiny sliver of the actual whole thing. There is a huge difference between making good soap and bath bombs and then taking the leap to actually selling that stuff and running a profitable business. And if you want to take that leap from taking a hobby that you're really, really good at to a business, then those little details are going to be instrumental in helping your business scale up. The biggest difference between hobby and a business is one thing. Are you making money? And I know that there are a lot of people out there that say, I'm not in it for the money. I'm just doing it for fun. Then that is not a business. You're just making a little bit of money for a hobby that you're really good at. But if you want to make it a business, then your priority needs to be whether or not you're putting your dollars wisely into aspects of your business that truly need it. You need to be keeping track of every single penny that goes in and goes out. And that doesn't just include the cost of materials. It also includes how quickly you're depleting through your supplies. And something like that is so hard to keep track of on Excel. I mean, I don't have the time for that. <laughs> And one of the amazing things that Crafty Base does is keeps track of your ingredient levels and alerts you whether or not your ingredients are getting to a critically low level. And that's something that is so instrumental in running a business as one or two people. You really want to have as many automatic eyes on your stuff as possible so you're not having to mentally remember to check up on your supplies to see whether or not they are running low. And the big reason why I was drawn to Crafty Base is because I use Apple products, I use a Mac, and a lot of the big soap inventory softwares out there are not compatible with Macs. And this was one that was, which is amazing. If you are on the fence about using Crafty Base because of its price point, you are in luck because they have a huge New Year's sale. All the subscribers to their monthly plan get 40% off of the first six months of their plan and this deal ends January 31st. And if you want to get started, I highly recommend you do that. I have a link down in my description box below. So this next goal ties into this whole theme for 2022 of improvement and that is to create my dream soap studio space. Kayla and I just bought a new home in Calgary and we have a basement that's finished that we can really get in there and outfit it so that we can soap and make bath bombs and make products and pack and do all of that in a contained space. So my goal for 2022 is to get the right equipment and to make sure that it makes sense because I was really struggling in my other house in Midland trying to get the layout right and trying to mesh my personal life with my business life. We are right on top of one another. It can work, but for me, it really took a toll on my mental health that I could not escape my business properly. So for 2022, I'm looking to get some proper tables, some proper bins, make some like actual stations and 
really invest into my workspace because I know that in the long run, this is my career, this is my life. And just like with any career where you put in money towards your education or your equipment or whatever, it's, it's not any different when it comes to a soaping business. And if you're curious about that whole journey, I probably will be documenting that on the Zimmerman Life as I build out my studio space. But I think that might bleed over a little bit onto the Jerica Zimmerman channel as well. I'm still trying to decide the logistics of that. Details to come. <laughs> and I think that's it for this video. I am so sorry about the quality of this video. The lighting is not the best. I probably have become blurry and sharp in and out here and there. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but as rocky as 2022 has begun, I really, really wanted to get connected with you guys again. I have missed you guys. I've missed filming videos. So I really wanted to get back on the ball and on the horse. Thank you so much to today's video sponsor, Crafty Base. Again, right now they have an amazing deal, 40% off of your first six months. And that deal ends January 31st. So act now because I know that business owners are watching every single penny and this is huge savings. And I also wanna take this moment to thank my patrons. You guys are amazing. That's another thing that I want to improve in 2022 is my attention to that Patreon page. I already talked about this with my patrons, how we are gonna make that Patreon page so much better with Patreon only content, Patreon only recipes, and just a greater connection to you guys to me through that page. So thank you to all of you guys who choose to support me and kill through that. And speaking of my Patreon, my Bubble BFFs, you guys are the real MVPs. You guys are amazing. And a lot of your business owners and are making incredible, amazing things. I've listed a few of their businesses in my description box below. Please check them out. They are such hard workers and they impress me all the time. Thank you to everyone who is watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Keep making beautiful, amazing things and keep smiling and keep being awesome people. Bye guys.